Hello Libra and welcome to your Mercury Retrograde Tarot Reading. Mercury is retrograding in your sign from September 17th through October 18th. Now, this is the third retrograde of Mercury, the third and final through the air signs. Mercury retrograde, um, the first one was January, oh my goodness, my cat, sorry, she's um, trying to hunt a fly down, um, so she's being a little crazy, sorry if you hear her. Anyways, the first retrograde was the end of January through February, moving through Aquarius, back into Pisces, the second one was the end of May through June in Gemini, and now this last one in September through October, all through the air signs, which is about learning and communication. So the first retrograde at the start of the year was around spiritual lessons. And then the second one was around mental lessons. And this third one is around emotional lessons. And this is learning through relationships, okay? Because Libra, seventh house, you guys are all about that karmic energy and relationships. So this here, this retrograde, is all about karmic balance within relationships and completion of the lessons that you have been learning. And that hits home with the two eclipses that follow this retrograde. So Libra, let's get in and see what all of this means for you specifically. We're going to pull one card to look at each Mercury retrograde that's happened this year because they are all connected. And then we'll go deeper into this last one specifically. All right, through Aquarius back into Pisces. Look at that. You've got the High Priestess, and that is the Soul Lessons right there. Wow, look at you, Libra. Princess of Wands for the mental lessons. And, oh, look at this. The Ace of Swords for Mercury retrograding through your sign. Major breakthrough in relationships. You have completed your lessons. Libra, this is excellent. So this first retrograde that happened at the beginning of the year um, through Aquarius back into Pisces probably took you to maybe um, some shadow energies, some insecurities, some old wounds around relationships. You became very aware, and this is all relationships, friendships, family ships, romance, relationship with yourself, relationship with spirit, okay? In, um, at the end of January through February, through that first retrograde, you were being pulled back into old wounds, all right, that cut you very deep because the, the things that cut us the deepest, those are the like soul lessons, okay? And at the beginning of the year, you were reminded of all of that and kind of went through like some ups and downs, okay? It's because you were filtering through um, to finally heal these old wounds, understand these lessons attached to these different relationships in your life by the end of the year, okay? And then here you are in the middle of the year in June, uh, Mercury retrograding again in Gemini. This is where all of this work starts making sense to you, where you're looking back and you're seeing different people from a, a new lens, a new perspective, and you see, regardless of the darkness, that they may have handed you, you are seeing the gift and the growth in that as well. So, you know, leading up to this last retro, you've been really getting your mind right. It's been shifting about old wounds of relationships of the past. And now we come to this Mercury retrograde, moving through your sign. It's time for karmic balance, Libra. And that means, you know, where people have wronged you, they're now going to receive that wave of that energy of what they handed you and vice versa. And this goes good for good energy or bad energy. You know, um, what we've given out shall now return to us. And for you guys, this is a major breakthrough, like ultimate truth, ultimate clarity with this. So let's pull some more cards.
speak up, take the lead, and detach from drama. Okay, so deeper lessons attached to these cards, what we've already discussed here with this speak up. In the past, Libra, you put up with way too much BS in relationships. It's not that you didn't think thoughts and feel things, but you kept a lot hidden, okay? A lot of the shadow, a lot of the negative that you may have felt towards certain people, you really kept that hidden and you kept the status quo, didn't want to rock the boat, didn't want to create fights, arguments. Some of you may have been in situations where you felt too afraid to speak your truth, okay? And through that process, it's like you feel as though you were oppressed, you were made to be invisible, you didn't have a voice. And through those experiences of, of feeling so small like that, it's ultimately what has pushed you forward into who you are now as this uh, final Mercury retrograde of 2021 takes place. You're not going to have an issue speaking your truth and putting people in their place um, and you're no longer going to hold back and have fear of rocking the boat. And you've come to a space where if I have to be afraid to speak my truth, then this person doesn't belong in my world, doesn't belong in my reality. Okay, you've had major growth in the emotional body where you're stronger and you have boundaries. All right, and here it is. Take the lead. That second retrograde of the year. This is when everything started connecting in your mind. You started feeling empowered again, like you have a voice, you have worth, you have value. It's like spirit uh, brought you back to life, so to speak, because as old wounds, old pains finally make sense, they heal and they transform into wisdom, expansion of consciousness. Okay, and then here, this last retrograde, detach from the drama, you've got the sword of power, Archangel Michael's sword, and you're going to be able to cut people out of your life, speak your truth, and no longer feel obligated, regardless of history, time of knowing somebody, attachment, it, it just, it's not going to matter anymore. You're really freeing yourself from toxic relationships with this last retrograde because of what you've been through. It just all finally makes sense, Libra. You know who you are. You know your worth. You know your value. Embrace spirit jumped out. Embrace your spirit, Libra. That's beautiful. So that's kind of a bonus. We'll just set that there. Okay, so become a shapeshifter. Respect your boundaries. And time to reflect. Okay, so with this here, Libra, speak up and become the shapeshifter. It's like you uh, were very accommodating. You would do things that you didn't want to do to make somebody happy. Um, you know, you just, you put up with a lot of BS that you didn't have to. And you put your wants, your needs on the back burner. And, you know, from you, from your perspective, it, that was coming from a place of love. But you didn't realize in doing that for others, you were not loving yourself and you were creating a hole inside yourself. And now, you know, here at that second retrograde, it became clear to you that you need to have boundaries. And no matter how much you care for somebody, they need to respect you and give back to you as you give to them. And then here it is time to reflect Libra through this last retrograde of the year. 
you are becoming so strong and empowered and just crystal clear in your mind, in your emotional body, because you've learned your lessons and you're strong and you're wise. And where you may have been leading with your heart in the past, you're not doing that anymore. You're leading with your spirit because you know that your spirit isn't going to make a choice out of emotion, right? And you know your spirit isn't going to be driven by the um, ego of the mind. So in the past, I feel you kind of led more with your heart, with your emotions and your decision making. And now through this retrograde, you are going to be led by your spirit. And it won't matter the emotional connection, the history, all of that you know your worth and value and that is going to be measured equally against people in your life and your love for them as it should be and in the past it wasn't so much so that's a lot of what you have been working on so let's pull some tarot and see how this retrograde is specifically playing out for you as mercury retrogrades through your sign and what that may bring back So we have the Five of Cups, Eight of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, Nine of Wands. All right. So a lot of your uh, lessons through these relations. Oh, sorry, that's my cat again. A lot of these relationships or lessons that you've been working on through various relationships has brought you a great deal of sadness, Libra. There's a big acknowledgement of that, okay? But through that sadness, Eight of Pentacles, you have learned a lot at the soul, in the mental body, as well as in the emotional body. And it's bringing you and transforming you into this Nine of Pentacles energy where you are very strong and independent on your own. There is nothing that you um, need anybody else to do for you or to bring into your life that you cannot achieve yourself. And there's an important message with that, knowing that you are independent and solid on your own two feet feels empowering to you. And in that space, um, it's like nobody can take your security away from you because you found it in yourself through these different relationships and the lessons attached to them. And the Nine of Wands, um, you will persevere, Libra. You will expand and move beyond the old wounds, the pain, and your heart will open again and you will love and connect with the right people, all right? Even if you feel a little tattered and torn for the experience, let's pull some more tarot. Look at that. You got the Ace of Swords again, breaking free from this Five of Cups. Energy, sadness, old wounds, heartache, pain. You are getting over it. Oh, yes. Will of Fortune. All the lessons that you've learned, all the work that you've been doing on your growth, you're now moving to the top of the will and blessings are coming in, Libra. Nice. You are putting down this Ten of Wands. Um, all the things you've been going through in relationships, maybe even over like the past 10 years, you are done. The cycle is complete with this retrograde and the eclipses that follow. And you're no longer going to be in this waiting pattern, okay? Waiting for um, a good friend, a good romance, finding your soul tribe, all of that. You've done the work energetically, emotionally, and mentally through relationships of the past, which has expanded you into a very beautiful vibration version of self and it's time for you to align to true uh, strong relationships in your life the lessons you know we're always learning lessons but i feel for libra a lot of heavy ones have been completed and learned and it's time for the healing to um be complete because you don't you don't need that energy anymore it, there's nothing 
um, that it can teach you or give to you at this point, Libra. So this retrograde is truly breaking you free from the past. And if anybody tries to come back from your past, whether a friend, family member, or romance, I don't see that you let them back in, Libra. You're done with it. Um, as the lessons complete with the people that they're attached to, your emotions change, okay? And um, some of these people, they're not meant to move forward on your journey with you because they're just, they're toxic, they're low vibrational, and they have nothing more to offer you. They truly, truly don't. And so I feel if anybody tries to come back because retrograde energy has a habit of bringing people back in, you're done with them. You don't want anything to do with them. You're cutting them off. You're cutting them out because you know you now. You know your worth. You know your value. You know your shadow self, and you know your light self, and you feel strong. And you feel empowered and you're standing on your own two feet. All right, so let's pull another card. We'll go ahead and put that there. Embrace your spirit within, Libra. Priorities. You understand the paramount importance of manifesting love in all situations, but most importantly for yourself, Libra. If there is no love manifesting for you from others, it's time to cut those relationships off and out and not hurt over them. If somebody does not have the ability to love honestly and deeply, you cannot personalize that. If anything, you should pity that person because imagine how much life they're missing out on being unable to go to those depths, right? And you can. All right, so let's pull another card. Courage. You have what it takes. Just do it. We, your angels, are here to support you. It is time for you to speak your truth, for you to stand your ground and stand up for yourself, Libra, and let nobody stifle your voice again because you do have worth you do have value and you are strong and now i'm telling you you are so solid on your own two feet it's like you you can do it alone so anybody coming in close to you you are allowing that it's just a compliment to your life because you now know no matter what you can do it on your own you can handle your business on your own so it's very empowering to you to know that you feel so strong and you're able to really break free from BS connections and old wounds finally healing Libra and you coming into that nine of pentacles energy of feeling of self as well as some blessings in your reality. So those are your messages. I am sending you lots of love and light. Take care.